Are you trying to add a countdown timer to your start screen? Or maybe you've got a subathon coming up and you want bits, donations, and subs to add time to your subathon. Well, stick around and I'll show you guys how to do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Gaming Network. I am GenX, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add a countdown timer to your stream. This may be useful for your start screen. It's also useful for your subathons when you want subs, donations, and bits to add time to your subathon timer. If this video helps you guys out at all, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm also live gaming on Twitch almost every day if you guys ever have a question for me or if you just wanna come and vibe and hang out. All right, let's show you how to do this. All right, the first thing that you guys are gonna do is go to the link that I have posted in the description. Once you guys are on this link, you're going to go ahead and click SNAS Setup right here. Once you click SNAS Setup, your download will automatically start. Once your download is done, go ahead and click Open File. And you can now close the window. Go ahead and click OK and then Next. And if you want to create a desktop shortcut, just go ahead and leave that checked. If you don't, just uncheck it and then click Next and then click install and then go ahead and launch snaz by clicking finish all right once you have snaz open you guys you'll see that it displays the time for you right here right here it shows you guys the date in this format days month and year and then you have down here countdown to specific time this is what we're going to be concentrating on for our timer it has the output format in days hours minutes and seconds and then this count to right here is where you're going to put the date that you want your timer to end and this is where you're going to have the time in which you want your timer to end and then you can add a message for when your timer ends like let's go or thanks for watching or something like that for this video we're just going to go ahead and put a timer for about say 20 minutes from now So what I did there is I made sure that this is today's date and then I entered uh, the time, but 20 minutes from now. So right now the time is 844 and I have it set for 905, nine seconds. So the timer will go off in 20 seconds and it will display my message that I have right here. Over here, you have the location in which the program is located. You're gonna need that, okay? On slobs, you're able to copy the path to clipboard and paste it, but on OBS, you're actually gonna have to locate the file. So go ahead and keep the SNAS open while you open OBS. Once you're in OBS, you can go ahead and add the source by clicking the plus sign and then going to text and name your new source timer and click OK. Once you're on properties for timer, go ahead and click read for file and then go ahead and click browse. From here, you're going to have to locate your countdown.txt. If you look at your SNAS, it tells you exactly what folder it's in. Just go to program files, gym app, SNAS, text files, and then it's located right there, countdown.txt. So we're going to go ahead and go into program files, and then gym apps, and then SNAS, and then text files, and then there it is, countdown. TXT. Go ahead and click that. Now you have your timer on the screen. Here you can actually change the color of your text and you can add a background to your color text if you want. You can even add a gradiency to your color so you can have multiple colors if you'd like. I could show you that really quick. Something like a blue with like a red. Okay. And then you have like a gradient color and you can add whatever you'd like. Okay. Once you're done with that, you can move your source to wherever you'd like on your screen, whatever's best for your overlay. All right, now that we've showed you how to put a countdown timer on your screen for your starting screen, let's go ahead and show you guys how to set up your subathon timer so you can add time with bits, donations, and subs. Go ahead and click the second link that I put in the description for you guys. It'll bring you to Stream Elements. If you guys don't have a Stream Elements account, go ahead and set that up. Once you have set up your account on Stream Elements or signed in and click the link that I have provided in the description, go ahead and click Edit on your Stream Marathon timer. Once you are on the widget setup page, go ahead and click Stream Marathon. Go to Settings. Click on Timer Settings. 
All right, under timer settings, you have your initial marathon duration. This will be how much time is on the timer when it starts. Uh, these are in minutes, you guys, so you guys can set it however you'd like. Below that is your maximum marathon duration. This is the highest the timer will ever get. So if you want an uncapped marathon, then you want to put something ridiculous in this, just like, you know, like that. So you'll never cap out on your marathon timer. But if you want it capped at like, you know, let's say 12 hours, then you're going to want to have it 720 minutes. And if you want it capped at, you know, 24 hours, you're going to want to set it like that. All right, you guys. All right. And below that, you can add a message on completion, whatever you'd like it to say when the timer is done. And then below that, you have and then below that you have event time settings this is where you're going to set your donations bits and subs to add time to your timer and exactly how much each one of those is going to add it's up to you on how you'd like to set it up it's all personal preference for how this sets up you guys they have tier one seconds added tier two seconds added tier three seconds added how much seconds is added for 100 bits how many bits it takes to trigger it so if you don't want people spamming you with one bit then you could set it to five bit minimum or even a hundred bit minimum and then below that you have your donation tip amount set how many seconds that you'd like to add and then on top of that you also have an option to add time for when you get rated by other hosts and you can even set it to how many people are in the raid adds seconds with a minimum viewer rate of five people. So somebody couldn't raid me with just one person over and over. Once you're done adjusting how you want your timer to be for your marathon and exactly how you want it set up, what you're gonna wanna do is save up here in the top right hand corner. And then you're gonna wanna click this to copy the URL for the overlay that you've just created. Once you've done that, go ahead and minimize this and go back to your OBS or your slobs and you're going to want to add a browser source and you can name this anything you want subathon timer is what i'm naming it okay once you're in there go ahead under url and paste that url that you just copied and click ok now you've got your timer set up if i'm to go back to stream elements right now and click start timer it just started my timer and if i go back to my obs boom there is my timer and as people donate and sub and drop bits on your channel this will go up well that's it you guys it's as easy as that to add snaps to your live streams if y'all enjoyed the video or this helped you out at all don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel we'll see y'all next time and remember don't be toxic spread positivity